In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to copy a link on a Chromebook. Timmy's already made a general video about copying and pasting things on a Chromebook, but this video is specifically about copying links, because there are a few situations where copying links can be a bit different to copying anything else. So, one situation where copying a link might be a bit different is if you're on a website or a YouTube video or anything like that, any web page you're looking at in Google Chrome, if you want to copy a link to this page you're looking at, you'll see the address is up in the URL bar up the top here. So this thing here is the address to the website you're looking at, the web page you're looking at, and that is basically also the link. So, what you need to do to copy this is single click on the link. So don't double click or right click or two finger click or anything like that. Just come up here and click the click button once. And now it should highlight the entire link ready for you to copy it. If you accidentally clicked multiple times or something, it might not highlight all the link. It might only have highlighted a word of it or just highlighted nothing at all. It might just be in it. But once you're in it like this, it is just normal text like any other text. So you can actually triple click on it. So just click one, two, three times all in a row like that. And then it should highlight the entire link. And now once the link is highlighted, it's just like copying any other highlighted text. So Timmy's preferred method to do is just hold down the control key and press the letter C on your keyboard and then it's copied. Or if you prefer a different method, you can right click on the highlighted text by either clicking with two fingers at once on the trackpad or clicking with the right click button on your mouse to bring up this menu here. And then in the menu that appears, just come down and click copy. And now the link is copied and you can paste it anywhere you want. So Timmy's just going to paste it into a Google Doc. You could paste it in an email or literally anywhere else you can type. So just like pasting anything else, you can either right click on your cursor and click paste or just put your cursor where you want to paste it and press control V on your keyboard and now you have that link pasted. And often if you're in Google Docs or Gmail or something like that, once you've pasted the link, you could then press the enter key on your keyboard and that will actually make it a clickable link here. So now people can click on that. So that's how it works when you're copying a link to a website or a web page that you're currently on. But another time it might be a bit tricky to copy a link is when it's a hyperlink. So you might see a hyperlink in a Google Doc like this or on a web page on a website like this where it has some other text like click here or really anything else. And then you can click on those words and it will take you to a different page. And if you want to copy those links, it gets a bit more complicated. There's actually two different ways you can do it but one of them will only work sometimes. If you're going to be pasting the link in a Google Doc or an email or somewhere else like that, that allows you to insert and create hyperlinks and you want to copy the entire hyperlink. So not just the link, but also the text where you click on it and it takes you somewhere else. So the entire hyperlink, you can actually do that as long as you're pasting it somewhere that allows it. And if you do that, it's basically just like copying normal text. All you have to do is hover your mouse cursor over the text. It can be a bit hard because you don't want to be clicking on it like that. So you have to move your mouse just to the side of it like that so that you get the cursor mouse icon. And then just click and drag across the link like that. And you can actually get more text if you want if you want some of the text beside it. 
or just click and drag to highlight the entire link like that. And then you can let go. And now you've highlighted this link. So now you can either press Control C on your keyboard, or you can right click or two finger click on the highlighted text. And because you're right clicking on a link at the same time, there will be a few more options in this menu, but the copy option will still be there. So you can just click copy and now you're ready to go and paste it. And as Timmy said before, a lot of places you paste it actually won't come with the link. So if we pasted this in certain places, it would just be the words click here. It wouldn't actually be a link. But if we go to paste it in a Google Doc or something for an example, if we go down a bit to make a bit of space, all you need to do is paste it like normal by either right clicking and clicking paste or pressing Control V on your keyboard. And now it will paste the entire hyperlink here. So as you can see, we have the text that says click here and the text is blue because it's a hyperlink and it's still clickable. So you can click on it and it will take you to the page that the link was to. And when you click on a hyperlink in Google Docs, there's an extra step. You have to click in here and then click on the link. But if you pasted it in Gmail or something like that and send it to a recipient, they would just be able to click on that hyperlink and open it straight up. Just like the way the hyperlink worked on the website you copied it from. But this only works in certain places. If you wanted to paste it in Google Keep for an example, Google Keep doesn't allow hyperlinks. So if we were to right click and click paste or press the keyboard shortcut Control V and paste that here, it has pasted the text, click here, but you can't actually click on the text. So it's not really a link. It's just the words click here. But if you want to copy and paste a hyperlink into somewhere like that, you can actually copy the link out of the hyperlink and then paste that link in somewhere like this. To do that, all you need to do is go back to your hyperlink. So we'll go back to this one on the Tech Time with Timmy website here, but you could go back to any link anywhere you want. And all you need to do is right click on the hyperlink. So you don't need to highlight it or anything. You just need to hover your mouse over it like that, as though you're about to click on it. But then instead of normal clicking on it, do a two finger click on a trackpad or click with the right click button on your mouse. And then in this menu that appears, you won't want to click copy because that will do what we did before. You want to make sure you click copy link address. So it should say copy link address, or if you right click on a link in a Google doc, it will say copy link URL. So it really means the same thing. So click on whichever one of those it says. So we'll click that. And now it's copied just the link. So we don't have the hyperlink. We don't have this text. It's just the link to that page. So now if we go over to Google Keep or something, literally anywhere that you want to paste it, anywhere that you can type, all you need to do is right click and click paste or press Control V to paste it. And now it will paste as just the link. So now you can use that link and you can open it and you can put that link anywhere else, anywhere you want, but you've just copied the link out of the hyperlink and you just have your link. So if we also wanted to put it in Google Docs, it would also work. So we could go Control V or right click and click paste, press enter to make it a proper link. So in places like Google Docs, you can either do that or you can do that if you just want it to be a plain link. But if you're pasting it somewhere like Google Keep or a messaging app on social media or a URL bar or some sort of note taking app, you can just do it this way where you copy the link out of the hyperlink. And 
One other time when copying a link might be a bit different is when you click on a copy link button. This one is less common than the others, but it still happens on occasion. It's often when you're sharing a file in Google Drive or giving public access to something you've created on some other website. It will give you a button to click that says copy the link and then it will just copy the link. So on Google Drive, for example, if we click on the share button to bring up all the sharing options, there's this copy link button that allows you to copy a shareable link to the file. And it doesn't have to be this, it could be anything else where there's a copy link button. This is just as an example. If we click this button, it will say link copied there. And it feels a bit weird now because you never actually saw the link and you never feel like you actually copied the link, but you have in fact copied the link. So now all you have to do is go and paste it somewhere. So you could go to a Google Doc or a Google Keep or an email in Gmail, anywhere you want. All you need to do is put your cursor where you want to paste the link and then either right click or two finger click and click paste or press control V. And now that link will be pasted here. So even though you never actually highlighted the link and clicked copy or anything like that, because you clicked that button to copy the link, the link has been copied. So you can just paste it anywhere you want. And that's all there is to it. Those are all the different ways that you can copy and paste links on a Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.